Hi there. Let's talk about perception for a few moments. So perception is how we make sense of the world. So my first question is, what do you see in this picture? Some of you might see the cup, right? So if you focus on the white pieces or the white piece, you might say that you see a cup. And some of you might say or think that you are seeing my yellow functions here or shows up here, that you see the silhouette of a face, right? So eyes here, nose, lips, and then chin. And then the same on the opposite side, forehead, eyes, nose, lips, chin and neck. So we don't know, right? At the first glance, if you've never seen this picture before, how do you make sense of it? My question here is which table is longer? This is an, an illusion. They are the same length and the same width, but because they are placed the way they are, it looks like the left one is skinnier longer. These are what we call illusions and they illustrate to us that our visual perception is faulty because we don't see things in isolation. We make sense of things in the world around us in the context in which they exist. And because of that, we don't accurately perceive things that are around us. And so we fill in missing information. So if there's something that is not available to us, our mind will fill it in. And the implications for us in organizations is that we can't take everything at face value. Managers should not take things at face value, especially because they are the ones that make decisions for us. And we might be making faulty decisions if we have erroneous or wrong information in the first place. So we should really try to verify what is going on, verify the situation and verify the information. And beyond the broader just visual perception, right? When we talk about perception in terms of making sense of our world and understanding it and relating to it, Perception is defined as the process by which we, as humans, we detect and we interpret stimuli around us. We detect, we pay attention, and then we make sense. We interpret things that exist in the situation outside us. As we've already mentioned, this process tends to not be accurate. We are fairly irrational biased, uh, faulty thinkers and decision makers. Because what we actually perceive is a function of who we are, of what our values are. And our values, they came to us when we were young, from family, from friends, from teachers, from people around us. We heard their values, we internalized them. And a lot of the time we stick with them we stick with the values that we learned as, as young children, which is why we see different cultures having different values because people were socialized into those values. We also have different needs. If you are hungry, if you're tired, those needs will override things and you will see, <laughs> you will see restaurants around you. You will think of that bed, you know, you will not pay attention to other things, right? So our needs also, drive what we pay attention to. And obviously our emotions, our mood, such as fear, anger, happiness, they also direct us. Those days you're in a really bad mood, do you pay attention to everything that's going wrong? And those days when you're elated, you're happy, you're on top of the world, what things do you pay attention to? I would venture to say that you pay attention to different things depending on your emotions and your mood. So all of this is telling us that our perception 
the way we view the world a lot of the time is wrong. So what that means is that we have to pause, right? This is the cheapest tool you can ever have is to pause and then think, try to verify, try to validate, try to listen to everybody to make sure that we are understanding the situation as objectively as we can. That's it for perception. I'll see you for the next one.